Today on Sentinel's Deck Review, we're taking a quick look at Tachyon, the speedster of the Freedom 5. Tachyon's deck is all about playing a lot of cards and then utilizing how many cards you've discarded totally in the game to do some awesome attacks. The deck is very rewarded if you're able to play extra cards and is very good for players that like to feel like they're doing a lot. Dr. Meredith Stinson was the most celebrated mind in the field of particle physics and loving wife of Dana Bertrand. She was the driving force behind the creation of the particle yield enhancing wavelength, which was meant to allow light speed travel of objects. While working on her research, a safety mechanism failed, sealing her in the test chamber and then flooding her body with the unstable tachyons that were supposed to power this particle yield enhancing wavelength. When the experiment ended and the locks released, she seemed to be fine and had no negative effects. She continued to work, but noticed that her efficiency had skyrocketed and she was able to get much more done in a short period of time. News of her research and her powers reached the government, and they promised to fund her research if she would join the Freedom 4 initiative as their quickest member, Tachyon. Alright, so starting off looking at Tachyon herself, the quickest woman on earth. As she's got the power of testing, reveal the top card of your deck, draw it or discard it. That can help you get rid of cards you don't want or keep your hand nice and full to be able to power a rest of her card place. She's all about playing a lot of cards. She starts off at 27 health and her alternate, her first appearance here has fast friend power. One hero may draw one card. If that hero is not Tachyon, Tachyon may play a card. This one is very useful and very well liked. Uh, with the one hero may draw a card, it's almost pretty much the same as the start of this. Reveal the top card of your deck, draw it, or discard it. The only reason you would really want to discard it is to power up your uh, play a card that reacts to how many cards you've discarded. I don't see this one being that good, and really most of the time you're going to want to prefer her first appearance version. Now for knockout powers, on her base power, Frozen by Fear. One hero takes their play phase, one hero collects one one-shot card, one hero salvages one item card. And there's her fighting a variety of, it looks like a cold, lightning, wind, and fire team of enemies there. And she is frozen in fear, not sure what to do. And then on her first appearance knockout here, we've got Cosmic Tales. Can the quickest woman, f or yeah, can the quickest woman from the planet Earth run fast enough to survive the deadliest force in the universe? If my calculations are correct, I'll have to run faster than any living being has ever moved. But will it work? And might it be the end of me? The Super Speedster Tachyon, Gravitational Devastation. All right, that is quite the uh, little card set up there. Force, shh, slow down. One hero tar uh, takes their draw phase, destroy one ongoing card, or one hero regains two HP. They're okay, knockout power is not fantastic. I don't think I've seen Takia knocked out too often. She tends to be a very big force in the games, resulting in a lot of victories, and I don't think you're going to have her flipped too often unless you're playing a lot of advanced modes. Talking about her deck, her deck is mostly full of one-shots that do a variety of different extra plays, extra draws, and stuff like that, so let's take a look. So first up, those one-shots. Blinding speed, destroy an ongoing card. Light speed, barrage. Tachyon deals one target X melee damage, where X is the number of cards in your trash. Shuffle your trash into your deck. This one can be super strong, huge amount of damage as a burst if you have a lot of cards played in the game and can take out a high priority target. Sucker Punch, Tachyon deals one target, one melee damage, then if that target has two or fewer HP, destroy it. Quick Insight, draw three cards, discard two cards. Fleet of Foot, each hero may draw a card, you may play a card. Expedited Efficiency, draw a card, play up to two cards. Sonic Vortex, Tachyon deals X targets, three Sonic damage, where X is the number of cards in your trash. Sucker Punch, we already looked at. I got it twice, didn't I? Oops. <laughs> Blinding speed, we already got again as well. Nimble Strike, Tachyon deals one target, two melee damage, then you may draw a card. Accelerated Assault, Tachyon deals each non-hero target one melee damage. So those are the set of one shots, lots of quick little amounts of damage and a couple extra card plays. And then we got her ongoings here, Hypersonic Dash. After this card is played, Tachyon deals each non-hero target one Sonic damage. 
targets dealt damage this way cannot deal damage until the start of your next turn, essentially. Research grant ongoing power. Draw up to three cards, then discard one card. Pushing the limits, this one is a huge card for her power. Tachyon deals one target, three damage, destroy this card. Start phase, Tachyon deals herself two fixed fire damage. Play phase, you may play one additional card. Draw phase, you may draw an additional card. Synaptic interrupt, ongoing limited reaction. Whenever So whenever she takes a hit, she can draw one card or play one card. If you play a card, destroy this card. And then she has her one item card, HUD goggles. Damage dealt by Tachyon is irreducible, so she can calculate out the best spot to hit, and she gets to play an additional card. Lots of really good things here. With the com combination of HUD goggles and pushing the limits, you can get so many card plays, so many card draws, and she is a very powerful character with a lot of potential to devastate. She's great for players that really love playing a lot of cards and tracking all of that stuff. You need to track when is the best time to play these combos, when did you get your... Uh, hypersonic barrage kind of deal or lightspeed barrage and ability to lock down the enemy with your hypersonicness. She's an excellent character, good starter character, good reliable way to win time and time again. She's in a lot of winning teams. If you're like building a team that you're like, this team will never lose, it almost always has tacky on it. So she's a top tier hero and she should definitely check her out. Thank you so much for joining the Sentinels Deck Review and we'll catch you guys next time.